Hi fellow travelers and it's me your travel angel. In this video, we are checking out the Instagrammable spots in Tulum. Yeah, let's visit the Instagram worthy places in Tulum, Mexico. Let's do this. Welcome back to Angel's Video Diary and the first IG worthy spot that you can check out is the Tulum Ruins or the Tulum Archaeological Site. The Tulum Ruins is a well-preserved Mayan city with picturesque views in all directions. It's definitely a great place to take amazing pictures to add to your Instagram feed. Now, Van a la Luz is another Insta-worthy spot in Tulum. And I heard this used to be free, but because of its popularity over the years, you now have to pay an entrance fee, which is 60 Mexican pesos or around three to four dollars. The sculpture can be found at the Ahau Hotel, located on the left side of the main hotel entrance. Daniel Popper, an artist from Cape Town, South Africa, created this stunning piece of art. It is a giant sculpture of a woman, which stands 33 feet tall and is made out of steel, wood, rope, and greenery. Next, another Instagram-worthy spot is the Follow That Dream sign. When in Tulum, you have to get a picture with this sign, which can be found at Lolita and Lolita Boutique. I was actually about to buy something from the store when a woman approached us to tell us that we can't park our car on the street. And so, well, we had to leave. All the more reason to come back to Tulum and stop by Lolita Boutique again, right? All right, so next, let's head over to Kapenha Mall or Plaza Kapenha, where you will find this beautiful blue angel wing sculpture. Plaza Kapenha is also a great place to go shopping in Tulum, or you can simply explore and find places to hang out or eat. So we've been seeing this elephant sculpture while driving around Tulum. It's only a few minutes from our Airbnb, so we thought, you know, to stop by and snap some photos. And the pictures came out beautiful. You'll pass by this elephant sculpture on your way to Hotel Zone as well. And it is located in a small park in Distrito Arte. And speaking of Hotel Zone, let's check out another Instagrammable spot known as Matcha Mama, where you can enjoy a delicious smoothie or acai bowl and some yummy drinks as well. They serve plant-based and gluten-free products and Matcha Mama not only serves delicious food and drinks, but it is also a great photography spot. They have these cool swings where you can hang out while you enjoy your food. All right, so this next spot, we actually discovered this place by chance. So we stumbled on this restaurant while searching for a good place to eat. And you know, I'm glad we found this place which is called Funky Burrito because they have these swings that you can add to your souvenir photos in Tulum. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the cenotes. Yes, the first Instagram-worthy cenote that I'm gonna show you is the Soitun Cenote, which is a very famous destination in Tulum. This is popular to a lot of people because of this walkway that ends in a circle where you can stand and take amazing photos. Also, the hole gives access to the sunlight, creating kind of like a spotlight effect. And I believe the best time to experience that where, you know, the light is hitting the circle is between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And next is Gran Cenote, which is another famous Instagram-worthy spot. There are wooden platforms where you can walk if you ever decide not to go in the water and, you know, just take pictures. And Gran Cenote is so stunning. Lots of photo opportunities. The water is clear and so refreshing. There's also an area where the water is not too deep where I was able to remove my life vest. It's definitely picture perfect. 
hey if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i would post new content and another insta worthy place is cenote calavera although getting that ig worthy shot can be quite challenging i mean if you're brave enough to go down there and sit on the swing and then take pictures then you should definitely do it it actually took me an hour to go down and swim and get on that swing but you know what? It was worth it. And by the way, don't forget to check out my cenote video where I was able to show other places, other cenotes that we visited around Tulum. So make sure to check that one out. The link is going to be in the description box below. Now, Tulum has a lot of murals and street art but we weren't able to well go to the different murals around town but we were able to visit the tulum signs around the area so this red tulum sign sculpture is near where the shops and boutiques are while this colorful tulum sign is going to be in front of hotel aquario tulum the last sign we visited was over at tulum's el centro which is located one block from the main highway So the playas or the beaches are also a great spot to take pictures in Tulum. And one particular spot that you can visit if you have limited time is Playa Paraíso. Make sure to get your souvenir photo on this swing. Well, you can stay here for a few minutes, you can enjoy the view and the great vibe around this area. So on your way to Chichen Itza, you'll pass by the town of Valladolid. Make sure to stop by the Valladolid sign to take a few snaps. It's definitely a perfect spot to get that IG-worthy photo. And still, in the town of Valladolid is this local coffee shop. On the rooftop coffee was the only shop that was open when we reach via the lid during our drive to Chichen Itza. They have tables and chairs on the rooftop where you can enjoy your meal and of course your coffee. And they have a lot of photo opportunities here. Since we're talking about Chichen Itza, so why don't we head over there? The drive to Chichen Itza from Tulum is two hours. And FYI, Tulum is one hour ahead of Chichen Itza or the Yucatan Peninsula. Yes, there is an hour of time difference between Tulum and the Yucatan Peninsula. And Chichen Itza is another ancient Mayan city that you can visit in Mexico. It is a famous site which gets millions of visitors each year. And it's also one of the new seven wonders of the world. By the way, make sure to get a tour guide as well if you're visiting Chichen Itza. Not only will you learn about Mayan civilization, but you'll have someone to take your photos as well. So we also stopped by Playa del Carmen on our way to Cancun Airport. Yeah, they have shops and lots of food options here and a lot of Insta-worthy spots to take pictures. Well, I hope I was able to inspire you to visit Tulum, Mexico. If you got value off this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. And make sure to drop a comment below if you have any more tips or tricks or maybe a um, list of places, Instagram-worthy places in Tulum. You can also show some love and support by hitting the like and share button. And you can stay current on my travels. Follow me on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, mypurplepages.com. And my TikTok handle is at I am Angel Alvero. Hey, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.
motivos para quedar 